I do understand that if I don't do better, I'll have a weak heart, brittle bones, and mushy muscles. And say nothing about the figure that's already in trouble from eating wrong. Uh, and believe it a lot or not, ladies, all of us has a flat stomach. It's just covered up. All of us have a shape. We've just covered up what it was designed to look like. Somebody says, speak for yourself, speak for yourself. I, I hear you. Somebody just said that to me, speak for yourself. Uh, Y'all looking at the ladies, but all you brothers have a six pack. It's just that over time, it got covered up with one six pack after the other. Can I tell you? how to have a worthwhile workout. Can, can y'all sit here just for another few minutes while I tell you how to have a, a worthwhile workout? First, you have to warm up. And you warm up by doing some stretches. To stretch is to expand beyond your normal range. Christians, we need to learn how to move out of our, our, our comfort zones and out of our boxes that we have put ourselves in and stretch and extend beyond our normal range. Faith is a stretch that makes the worth out less restrictive. After warming up, you can do some cardio or heart exercise. The Bible says, with all your heart, trust in the Lord, and lean not to your own understanding. With all your heart, soul, mind, and strength, the Bible says, love your neighbor, or love God and your neighbor as yourself. In your heart, you need to hide the word that you might not sin against God. Let the meditation of your heart and the words of your mouth be acceptable unto God. All right, you got your heart right now. You, you warmed up. You got your heart pumping. Now you can walk. The Bible says walk in the spirit. Walk in the light. Walk humbly. Walk honestly. Walk upright before men. Walk by faith and not by sight. Mm. You still not got, you don't have it all yet. You don't have it all yet. Now you're ready for some resistance training. Resistance causes the muscles to contract against external forces. Weightlifting is a good resistance exercise. Is that right? Liston Thomas. Liston Thomas, is that right? He doesn't exercise either. Somebody in this house ought to be some... I'm going to help us get our spiritual workout on. <laughs> Weightlifting is a good resistance exercise, I'm told. Well, I hear somebody saying, I thought the Bible says, lay aside every... Oh, oh y'all woke up. Y'all woke up. Y'all help us, Jesus. Well, in order to lay this towel aside, I first have to lift it up. Huh? I, I first have, if you lift up those lying, cheating, envious, and apathetic weights of sin to the Lord, he will give you enough muscle hmm, to resist the devil so that the devil will free from you. Even though the devil will flee, when you resist him, it's not a good idea to get too relaxed. You're still going to need some strength training. You need strength training to continue to be able to resist the devil. Strength training increases the size and quality of what's on the inside. So I admonish you to make God your strength so that you can be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Because he gives power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increases strength. Now we've gotten warmed up. 